Okay, thanks Kate. Um, hi everyone, um, I'm from Health Direct Australia, so I'll start by um, talking a bit about Health Direct Australia, about who we are. We're a um, government funded organisation, we're uh, not for profit, we're actually a, um, a co-ag company. We've been running, uh, going since uh, 2006 and um, we're actually owned by the Federal Health Department and the State Departments, uh, State Health Departments of every state except for Victoria and Queensland. And we were set up to develop a range of digital health and telehealth services. We began as the National Health Call Centre Network for um, people to contact um, after hours if they're having um, trouble um, um, with any health issues. Um, we became a digital organisation of maybe five or six years ago and we provide um, digital services and other health information and advice um, to the Australian population. Um, some of our um, websites and services are the main Health Direct website, which is our general health website. We also have the uh, a pregnancy, birth and baby website. We have a carer gateway for those people who identify themselves as carers of um, people who have a disability or who are um, chronically ill. We run the Health Direct After Hours GP helpline, which is another contact centre. The My Aged Care website on behalf of the federal government. We have a National Health Services Directory, so you can uh, find the um, GPs, uh, specialists, uh, emergency departments of, um, um, in your local area. We run the Quit Line and get healthy services in New South Wales as well. But I'm here to talk about the Australian Health Thesaurus, which we manage. And it's a thesaurus of medical, health and human services related concepts. It's human services as well because we manage the aged care and carer uh, websites. It reflects the current Australian health and human services environments. Um, you can see on the right hand side I've got some statistics there with some of the, um, uh, we have over 5,000 concepts within our thesaurus. It was originally developed by the Department of Health and Ageing um, many years ago and uh, we inherited that, um, the thesaurus about four or five years ago. The thesaurus is actually based on MESH, the medical subject headings, um, which is maintained by the US Library of Medicine. We regularly update the, the, the thesaurus. We look at all the user analytics to see what, what are people searching for on our website. We look at the current uh, news developments, um, such as the Zika virus. When the outbreak occurred in Australia a couple of years ago, we had no concepts on Zika virus, so we added that in. And we also do um, environmental analysis of um, certain domain areas, such as aged care, which we did when we um, set up the My Aged Care website. So we looked at all the websites that in Australia that um, um, focus on aged care and looked at all the concepts that they're using. The main thing about our thesaurus though is that it's consumer focused. It's not aimed at the clinicians or uh, health professionals, it's aimed at consumers. So we, we try to keep that, um, that uh, focus on the concepts. So the, um, the slide, this slide here, you can see on the left hand side, this is the, um, the main concept schemes within our thesaurus. You can see we've got anatomy, chemicals and drugs, diseases and disorders, equipment and supplies, facilities. Um, so there's quite a lot of different um, concepts there. If you click on one of those concept schemes, you can go through the hierarchy to see, and on the right hand side, you can see I've gone down to the, um, through diseases and disorders, digestive system diseases and I've now selected the liver cancer concept. Clicking on the concept provides the, uh, shows us the other information about that concept and here you can see what is called the SCOS view, the S-K-O-S, the Simple Knowledge Organisation System view, which is basically um, showing you the broader, narrower and related concepts. Also on the right hand side you can see we have uh, the preferred label and alternative labels and the alternative labels are the synonyms. So the idea being um, for our websites that if people, in this case, if they search for hepatic cancer, they can find content that has been classified with the concept liver cancer. So the main, um, the main reasons we have our thesaurus is, as I just mentioned, was the classification purposes. So all our content is classified with the thesaurus. Um, it also helps in the uh, relevance in our search results in the, into the, in the ranking. Uh, we also use it for uh, auto-suggestion as well, so if you, once you start typing in your search in the top field, you'll get a list of suggestions to, to select. We can display uh, other contextual content on the website as well, such as a video on asthma will appear on content, uh, an article about asthma because they're both classified with the same concepts. And we also use it to manage our medicines data, and this is what I really want to show you. 
today because it shows you how we are linking our data. We've set up a, a, um, a medicines catalogue and we've looked at um, all the publicly available medicine data sets that we could find in Australia. Um, and we're starting off with our own health um, Australian Health Thesaurus, which we um, are using as our control list. We've also um, looked at the Australian medicines terminology. This is the, the national standard for naming conventions for all medicines in Australia. This is managed by the Australian Digital Health um, Agency Authority. We also have data from the Therapeutic Goods Administration through the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods. That's a register of all the drugs that are sold in Australia. Um, they also have data from the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme and also uh, Guildlink, which is the commercial arm of the Pharmacy Guild of Australia. And from them we get pill images. And we're just going through a process with them at the moment to get their consumer medicine information leaflets. Um, that's the leaflet you get by, you, that's in a packet when you buy, a, buy it over the counter. Um, and we want to get that in HTML format so that we can present the data on our website in a much uh, more consumer friendly way. We're also getting um, uh, data from Drug Bank, which is a great Canadian um, government initiative. Um, it's got uh, great information about um, medicines and chemicals. You can see on this slide now that this is what we do with our thesaurus. This is how we start the linking process with the, these other data sets. Um, I've, I've selected the concept amitriptyline which is a, um, an active ingredient. And we've created a whole new concept uh, uh, custom schema, which we call clinical relationships. And you can see on the right hand side in that column, you can see we have a, we've added the ID, the identification of the uh, um, Australian Medicines Terminology ID. And a bit further down, we've also got a, um, an ID for drug bank. So it's just a mapping with those concepts in those data sets. You also see there's a reference there to a, um, a beers criteria, and that's not um, the fact that this can be used to, to make beer. It's a um, it's an internationally recognised list of um, medicines that are inappropriate to prescribe to older people. In this case, this is one of those um, drugs, and we've got the um, the Boolean logic of true here. A bit further down, we've also got. Um, a pregnancy category as well, which we get from the TGA, and this has got a pregnancy category of C. We're not actually using that at the moment, but we do intend to use that on our website soon. So what we're doing every month, we update what we call a, a terminology service, it's a database. We import all the data from all of those, those data sets into our um, terminology service from the Australian Health Thesaurus, the TGA, PBS, the AMT, Drug Bank, and Guildlink, and we've create, um, developed the relationships between all those data sets so that when a user searches on a, um, for a medicine on our website, um, they can dynamically pull that content, all that data in, into a web page for them. On this page, you can actually see how those uh, relationships work. I showed you where the um, AHT had that reference to the um, Australian Medicine Terminology and Drug Bank. We can see that those relationships are here with the drug bank and AMT. The AMT actually has um, seven different data sets within it. Um, from medicinal product, which is a, um, a list of, could be the active ingredient used in a drug, uh, and the trade product, which is actual brand name of that. And you can see, you can actually work your way through these relationships to come down to the container trade product pack, which could be in that data set. It could be um, you know, Panadol, 20 milligrams, 20 tablets in a blister pack. And that data set has a reference to the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods ID, which the TGA manages. And Guildlink also uses that, that ID as well. And you see on the other side, left-hand side there, the, uh, ref the PBS link, which is, um, there's a reference to that ID in the medicinal product unit of use data set. So we can link up all of these data sets. And as I said before, the use is that so that if somebody searched on any medicine, we can pull the data from all of these data, data sets to show um, uh, information to the people. And so what does it look like to a, to a user? I can show you from our site here. This is a, um, a page on the, on the drug NDEP. And as I scroll down the page, you can see there's uh, the information on the page. When I said, remember when I said uh, the beers criteria, um, because I had that true flag in the data, 
it's, uh, we've pulled up this warning here to say that if you're over 65 years of age, there may be specific risks and recommendations for use for this medicine. So please consult your health professional or pharmacist. As I scroll down here, people can select the type of packet that they have. In this case, whether it's a 10 milligram or a 25 milligram or a 50 milligram pack. That's coming from the AMT, the Australian Medicines Terminology. As one of the, one of the bits of data we have from the TGA, is a uh, PDF version of the Consumer Medicines Information Leaflet, and so we have a link to that. So if that exists, then they can click on this Read Leaflet to be able to read um, the Consumer Medicines Information Leaflet, which will tell them all about the side effects of the drug, when they can use it, when they can't use it, that type of thing. Then we have other information here as well, um, coming from the TGA, and also images coming from Guildlink. So we've got the dosage form, the route of administration, we've got information about the pack, about how to store the drug um, and the lifetime of the drug. And also if that drug was available on the PBS, then there's a link here as well to go to the PBS site. Okay, go back to the slide. Uh, the thesaurus can also be used, um, um, we have a public version of it that can be um, accessed by individuals and organisations as well. Um, so it can be used for research purposes. Just remember, it has a, it's consumer language. It's aligned to uh, medical, clinical, and and government um, standards and and systems, and it, uh, it forms a bridge between those three um, different domains. And it could potentially be used for uh, for surveys, uh, for interviews, and for transcripts. And I've got a link for it coming up soon. But this is what the public uh, version of our thesaurus looks like. Here you can um, you can do a search for a concept. You can um, select the A to Z list, or you can click on any of the concepts and just drill your way down through the through the concepts to find the right concept you need, and you can still find the right information. This is only showing that that SCOS view that I showed you before with the the broader, narrower, and related concepts, uh, but you can also find some other information on that as well. And there's also a, um, a visual um, version of it as well, so that you can see in a visual format what are the, the narrower and related and broader concepts of that, that concept. Um, here are some, some links which you might find useful. Uh, the first one is of our um, website, uh, the main health threat website. Um, we also have a link there to the medicines pages where you can start searching and see the, how all that data comes together. Um, I've got a, a link here uh, which shows you general information about the thesaurus and for those who actually want to get into the thesaurus and look at it itself, that's the link down the bottom, that's the thesaurus.healthdirect.org.au slash AHT. Okay, and that's it, so thank you.